What's up everyone, welcome to the 23rd episode of this parody of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Today's contestants were selected by the fans based on a guy's choice of 5 characters, before showing the 3 most voted ones, let's make sure the other 2 have a cameo. Those 2 are, Phil Matty Bag, the worst character from the worst show in existence, and the guy, the creator and current owner of the parody of Get Ungrounded Trivia. What? How come I wasn't chosen? Watch your show and then you will automatically understand why. By the way, you have got zero votes. What the fuck? Zero votes. This is rigged. Bye bye. I'm out of. That guy has a dirty mouth. Anyways, okay. It seems that making the whole series was not enough to make your fans want you to participate in it. You only got 8% of the total votes. That's fine with me tbh. Probably the viewers thought I'd just angry myself forever or something like that. Also, don't call me a gay. No can do. The Eric voice just decides to call you a gay, even if your name is correctly written in the text to speech voice box. Not impressed. This video is being made on rapper Offlin, even if it isn't rapper's fault. Yeah, anyho, let's meet the participants that will compete for today. First we have the Mexican poop man. Why? Why does he still exist? And why did he get 13% of the votes? Up next we have Lindsay from Total Drama. You may know two things about her. All of her real emanations in Total Drama sucked. And she has the IQ of an orange. Hi Internet. Forgot to say that she got 14% of all of the votes. Anyways. Today's final contestant is Elmo. The second character competing for the third time. He got 65% of the votes. And there was a specific reason why a guy added Elmo to the voting list. Hey Boris, why don't you tell everyone why Elmo was accepted to possibly get another chance to compete in his show? Whatever. So apparently Elmo's parents wanted him to win this show, but they knew it was extremely unlikely to happen, and they thought it was mostly my fault because of my attitude. So somehow they got some lawyers and they don't let me be unfair to Elmo by insulting him or ground him a little longer. Let's also ignore that I could easily ground Elmo's parents and their lawyers and get rid of all this easily because I hate myself or something. Also, since Phil got zero votes, to make him feel better he wrote the first question, it's a naughty one, if you don't like naughty questions skip to this timestamp, let's start this. What does MILF stand for? Oh crap, this is not good. I'm not surprised but I forgot about this, huh, <sighs> but no, MILF doesn't stand for your magical poop dance, you're grounded for a total of 63 years. Uh, Tyler, can I please use the restroom? First of all, my name is not Tyler, secondly, yes, but for every question you are not present, you will automatically get them wrong, but sure, go ahead. Yay. Does it stand for man I love fishing? Correct. I'm very shocked you got this question right. MILF stands for man I love fishing, not for other naughty stuff. Ha <laughs> ha pranked you guys, you're ungrounded for 63 years. Time for another question. The Waffle House has found- Okay hold on a second, this sentence is not funny anymore, in fact, it was never funny to begin with. Also, January 31st has already passed. So why is this here? One second guys. Ah, much better, what's 1 plus 1 plus 1? Oh no, not again. No 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 no, not again, wait, Elmo has lawyers, Boris, don't let the Mexican poop man dance again, Elmo's lawyers hate this guy. That's actually a good idea, Mexican poop man, if you dance one more time you'll be grounded forever. You're lucky that you'll be grounded just for more 36 years. Sorry if I took a little while. Anyways, what's the question? What's 1 plus 1 plus 1? Oh, okay. My answer is buffalo chicken wings. Congrats on getting this question wrong. Because 1 plus 1 plus 1 is not buffalo chicken wings. It never was and it'll never be. You're grounded for 36 years. Yay yay yay. I've been grounded. Being grounded is not a good thing. No no no, I've been grounded. That's better I guess. Anyways, Elmo. Elmo skips this question, and also, 
Shouldn't we move on to a commercial break? Five minutes have already passed. You're somehow right, I guess. The answer was three. Commercial break time. We will be right back after these messages. For years, our Mexican poop man has been dancing in front of people in their homes in order to encourage the poop to come out. But what do you do when you want as much privacy as possible? Now introducing our latest product, the Ciego Mexican Poop Man. He is like the original, but without eyes, meaning he is blind. Therefore you can have more privacy while pooping. By now, only 99999999999999999 dollars. No refunds. Time to make some GoAnimate videos. Can you please accept my character request and put it in Pogit? I'm sorry but I only accept character requests when I ask you. So I will have to reject it. Son of a- Son of a what? I said son of a- Sorry kid, you're too young to swear. Fine. Oh guy, you're wrong. I'm not actually young. I'm 13 years old. I'm sorry, do I know you? Don't play the innocent. Last year you called me a kid, and that is not true. I am 13 years old. What am I, what supposed, am I supposed to, to say after, after hearing, hearing this? Welcome back to this parody of Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 23. In this round, we'll have 5 questions instead of 4, let's just continue. What's Valmai's IMDB score? Mexican Poop Man, if you dare to do your magical poop dance one more time, I will erase you from existence for the second time, and you won't come back, so please, tell me your answer. Hello? Will you say something? Can't you speak through subtitles or something like last time? The silent treatment is not the answer you know, you are grounded for 500 years. Okay, even though Scooby-Doo is amazing, we can't ignore that the show called Velma is a huge proof that the entire human race is lost, so I'm sure the overall score on IMDb is zero. I am very sorry Lindsay. Even though I agree with many of your somewhat intelligent points, IMDB does not have the option to give 0 out of 10 to their articles. So, you're only grounded for 250 years. My answer is the value of pi. Sorry Elmo, that's wrong, and I better not comment on your IQ or else I will get sued. You're grounded for 500 years. Time's up. Valmai's IMDb score is 1.4 out of 10, which is honestly too high. Let's move on to our next question. What do you call a fish with no eyes? This question was made by artificial intelligence. A sandwich with chicken nuggets and cheddar cheese sauce. No, a fish with no eyes is not called a sandwich with chicken nuggets and cheddar cheese sauce. You're grounded for 200 years. Well. Since it has no eyes, it might be a dead fish, but you know what? Forget what I said, I change my answer to an FSH. Yes Lindsay, a fish with no eyes is called a FSH. I am slowly starting to realize that your IQ is not that low, you're ungrounded for 200 years. Time for the next question. Name one difference between a bass and a guitar. Guitars are stupid and basses are cool. Elmo, do not be a guitar phobe, you're grounded for 51 years. Hey, stop grounding Elmo, do you know that Elmo has lawyers that could ruin your entire career in seconds? Elmo, your lawyers can only sue me when I'm being unfair to you or make fun of you, not when you get questions wrong. I was going to penalize you. But I better not because I don't really know if your lawyers are going to count that as an insult, anyways. Does anyone want to answer this question? A bass is thicker. Yes Lindsay, one of the many differences between guitars and basses is that basses are thicker, which to be honest feels a bit naughty to say, you're ungrounded for 51 years. Let's move on to the next question. What is the name of Puss in Boots Egg Friend? Is the answer Charlie D'Amelio? No Elmo, Puss in Boots Egg Friend is not named Charlie D'Amelio, you're grounded for 1000 years. 
Is his name Tyler? No, Lindsay. That's wrong. It looks like your streak of right answers is over. You are grounded for 1,000 years. All right, Mexican poop man. You can answer this one if you want to. Time's up. Puss in Boots seg friend's name is Humpty Dumpty. Time for another question. What's Cristiano Ronaldo's country? No. Come on. No, 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 no. My legs vomited again. Can I go to the bathroom? Whatever. Go ahead. Okay, that is enough, Mexican poop man. Prepare to be sent to the back rooms. Holy crap, did you really send him to the back rooms? I sure did. Also, do you want to answer the question? No, Elmo has no idea what the answer is. Okay, but before moving on to a commercial break, I have to update Lindsay's score because she wasn't present in this question. Also, the answer is Portugal. Okay, let's move on to a commercial break. We will be right back after the following messages. Ah, what a nice peaceful day here at this basketball court. I bet nothing wrong is going to happen. Oh my kiwis wa a a a a a a a wa o o o o o o o wa wa You should always protect your kiwis. Man, it really sucks that our immunities were wasted just because we were on the winning team. May, I love chocolate, but I agree I guess. These chocolate bars will not give you an advantage for a chance to win a million. Or, you're right. Hey guys, sorry about the whole wasted immunity thingy. No need to apologize as it was not your fault. Everyone, get out of your cabins. Welcome back to this parody of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Let's get back to things with another question. Wait for me, I was in the bathroom. Oh, um, okay, but you were kind of late, so I'll have to penalize your score, again. Anyway, like I was saying, let's get back to things with another question. Wait Boris, since the Mexican poop man is gone, shouldn't we have a new replacement contestant for this round? Okay, okay. But it won't be a guy so this episode won't be a ripoff of the last episode of the original gut. Phil Matty Bag, come on over here please. Yay, wait a f***ing minute, why do I get the Mexican poop man score? Because his score shouldn't be wasted. Also, try to not swear and try to not comment anything about Lindsay's body. Huh? Okay, no more interruptions, time for the next question. In what year did South Sudan become an independent nation? Is the answer 1969? No Phil, South Sudan didn't become independent in 1969, you're grounded for 300 years. What in the actual f- You better not finish that sentence young boy, if you dare to swear again you'll be grounded for 10,000 years. Is the answer 2043? Nope, you're grounded for 300 years. Will Lindsay answer this one? Time's up. South Sudan became independent in 2011. Time for another question. True or false? 94% of Chinese people live in the east of their country. Okay, I literally have no idea, but I'll say that's true. Yes, Lindsay, that's true. 94% of China's population lives in the east part of the country. You're ungrounded for 2,000 years. Beautiful work princess, you are very intelligent, and beautiful. Well thanks, I'm always like that, just like my boyfriend. Lindsay, don't pay attention to him, he's a pervert. What's a pervert? Oh, you poor innocent soul, let's move on to the final question. Does rapper offline elimination have its own IMDB page and wiki? Um, is the answer true? Yes Elmo, Pogut has its own IMDB page and wiki. You're ungrounded for 88 years. Hey Boris, you should give Elmo a positive score, because if you don't, Elmo will call his lawyers to sue you. Sorry Elmo, 
that's not how it works, your lawyers can only sue me if I am being unfair to you or mocking you, so your score is not going to be changed. So there you have it, that concludes the 23rd episode. One contestant surprisingly managed to get ungrounded, while the other two didn't, and one even got sent to the back rooms. I am Boris Anderson, I wish you all a good night, and stay ungrounded. <laughs>